it took them, in their credit, it took them a fairly uh, short period of time to build up a security governance operations stack that was fairly compelling in many cases, better than some of the stuff you can get on premises. So uh, that's kind of the story in terms of how AWS inflected. They were kind of the first to the market with a viable stack that had everything in it, including security, governance, and operations. And so, you know, when you're innovating, one of the important things to remember is you really want to start with the customer. You want to ask them what's important to them. But then you don't just always just deliver what the customer asks for. You want to invent on their behalf. What we call this at Amazon is starting with the customer and working backwards, listening to them, understanding what they want, and then work backwards to what's a fantastic product. And that customer focus and working backwards is really part of our AWS DNA. And it's how we approach the business from the very beginning. In fact, the original AWS vision document that we wrote was written in 2003. By the way, I haven't looked at the past uh, reInvent keynotes, but I suspect that's plus or minus 10 percent uh, or the, of the same story. And so in other words, they're just giving you the history, the baseline of the company. And again, he's reading a script. And at the time, there was a lot of technology companies that were building these bundled solutions that would try to do everything for you. And what they ended up doing is there's these big monolithic solutions that would do everything fine. Like it was good enough. And we had this observation that good enough shouldn't be all you strive for. You want the best possible component. It would be great if you could take the little bit of everything that was best and combine them together. And with that idea, AWS was born. As long as it's in AWS. So what the argument would be that we should be taking a best of breed approach to using whatever components um, that we need to bring together to build our systems. You know, obviously in the world of AWS, everything has to exist in their walled garden, running in their ecosystem, and that's what they sell. So they're going to sell, you know, their databases, their storage systems, their compute platforms, things like that. And so normally we, we part company is the fact that I'd be best of breed as everything and anything, including other, other public cloud providers, things you can find on prem, you know, everything that uh, is available to become your solution. We're trying to find the best architectural solution that's going to bring the most value back to the business. And almost always, it's not going to be a single cloud provider that provides you everything in the stack that you're going to need. So fundamentally disagree with that. Uh, but it is really kind of core to the fact that they're, they're a business and they operate in their own selfish interests and they're selling the services that they have. And we made this other observation. You could take almost any application out there and you could break it down into individual components. It could be decomposed into these core services. And we call these core services building blocks. 